In 2009, Professor Chris Nestor published a paper reviewing invasive bone pin studies and the insight they gave us into how the human foot behaves whilst in motion. It is undeniable that the human foot is a highly complex structure, yet the most common clinical approach is to still subscribe to the belief that there is a single, ideal foot posture, alignment or movement. The bone pin studies help conclude whether this is indeed appropriate and also help question many other long and firmly held beliefs about the foot function. At the ankle, whilst range in the sagittal plane is often greatest, it is certainly not to be thought of as a provider of only plantar flexion or dorsiflexion. Indeed, some feet exhibit more transverse and frontal plane motion at the ankle joint than they do at their subtalar joint. Data from the midfoot and forefoot joints also shows that they have been considered consistently undervalued in how much they contribute to the overall foot function. This suggests we should not be too rear foot focused in our assessment and treatment of the human foot and should certainly be thinking more broadly than just the subtalar joint. It is also very clear just how much variation exists between individual feet and this supports abandoning a one-size-fits-all model when it comes to the human foot and instead embracing individual variation and trying to develop patient-specific clinical models of foot function.